Hello everybody, my name is Mark Responde, and in this video I want to kind of introduce you guys to the concept of image segmentation. So to uh, motivate this discussion, here is an image of a wallet on a table. And so as humans we can easily differentiate between uh, the wallet and the table, we kind of know where one begins and one ends, and I can actually draw this out when we pick like a nice uh, bright color here. So here is the wallet and here is the table and so as humans like I said we can easily differentiate between the two um, but this is a bit more difficult for a computer because remember that computers only have access to the raw pixel data of this image so if we want to perform any image processing operations on the wallet uh, we're at kind of a loss because we first need to separate the wallet from the table. We don't want to apply the same operations to both the wallet and the table. We just want to apply it on the wallet. So this particular challenge of separating the different parts uh, of an image is called image segmentation. So image segmentation. Let me see if I can get that M a bit better, actually. There we go. So it's the problem of image segmentation. That's like given an image. We want to separate the image into different parts. We want to kind of carve out the different parts of the image based on some criteria. And just as a terminology thing, if we're looking for one object in particular, um, that's just called the object of interest, which is you know pretty self-explanatory there. Um, so if I just wanted to get this wallet, I can carve out this portion of the image like, like what I did here. Uh, however, like I mentioned, this is actually a bit more challenging for a computer because we have to tell the computer exactly how we want to make this, uh, how do we want to make this determination. And this, you know, is part of the reason why this is so challenging. And to kind of further explain why this is uh, challenging, let's consider a different image here. So now I have, you know, a lot of different objects that are on, on on this table and this is there's still lots of research done in this field um of computer vision particularly it's called uh, SDS or simultaneous detection and segmentation. And so there's kind of like two parts here. Uh there is the detection part. So the detection part would say this is a card this is a pencil. Pencil. This is also a pencil. And this is a pen. So that's kind of what the detection part of SDS is. And but we're not going to be getting too much in, into into that. But the interesting part that we're concerned about is the segmentation part, and that is, you know, separating this, separating the different parts of the image. So here is a foreground object that's a card and here's another object here this is a pencil you know and then there's some questions that come into play like these are both pencils so should I be drawing these boxes individually around them or should I draw one big box and carve out one big region for both of them because they're both labeled pencils so these are some of the kind of the questions that come into play and you know here is just a, a pen here so this is kind of the problem of simultaneous detection and segmentation. We're not going to be worrying about the detection part, but we're particularly interested uh, in, in the segmentation part. And so in the next video, we're going to look at uh, probably the simplest form of image segmentation called thresholding. So we'll I'll get to that in the next video.